what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a whole video on Bisu and Avara Paris uh, cosmetics. My parents recently went to Mexico and I gave my mom a list which the lady at the store was like super impressed that she came with the list and super helpful. So I gave my mom a list. I did my research on the products I wanted her to get me and I told her if she could find it, great. If not, didn't worry about it. But she found me pretty much almost everything on my list. So it came in this little bag. It just says Bisu and Avara Paris on the back side. She went to like the like the mother load store. Yeah, she found all these products and I, I did this makeup look right here, right now, right here with all the makeup products and I am impressed. So if you want to know how I did this look, it's just my everyday makeup look. But if you want to see these um, products in action, stay tuned. Hey, so let's just get started. I think I'm a little washed out. I haven't filmed in a long, long time, so bear with me. We're gonna go in with the concealer. So it's just the Bisu Corre Corrector. Uh, it says contiene vitamina E, so that's a good thing. Contains vitamin E in the number four medium base. So it just comes like in the lipstick form, and this is how much product you get. So that's a lot of product for. Oh, it's like not even like a lipstick. Well, it's like a lipstick form, but it's like more pointed. I'm gonna get my mirror, and I'm just gonna put some. Oh, it's really really creamy, like super creamy, and this is like the kind of color I go for, especially around my dark circles and all that so I'm gonna use it as temple corrector as well because I didn't get another color so we're gonna work with it I'm gonna blend this out okay this blends out really nice I don't know how it looks the staying power is on this so can't tell you that but for right now mm, it doesn't really conceal that much but we're gonna work with it I don't really like I, really, I like showing some of my imperfections through the makeup, you know what I mean? So you don't look like you're wearing too much makeup if you catch my drift. So I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, so I got the powder uh, makeup by Bisu. So everything pretty much is Bisu, otherwise, if I, otherwise I say something else. So this is the Bisu powder makeup. And it comes like this. My mom said this was like the last one. So it comes with a little protector plastic thingy. And does it come with a puff? It does come with a puff. So it just comes with the mirror. And this kind of looks a little light for me. But on camera it kind of looks like it's a perfect color. Because I'm like whitewashed right now. A little washed out. So this one was $52.50. So do the math there. Like $7 or something like that. Maybe. Something like that. I don't know. So I'm just going to take... Um, my foundation brush and I'm gonna put it on my face so I'm not one for um, pow a powder I'm not one for liquid makeup so I stuck to what I'm used to and I'm using and I like to use powder foundation so hopefully this isn't too light for me right now it kind of looks like it really is super light for me so we're gonna work with it we're gonna bronze it up don't worry okay so that powder makeup wasn't too bad. The next thing I'm gonna use is some bronzer. So I got the bronzer in the color bronceador in the color. What is this color? Oh, this is right. Uh, uh, avena tostada. Avena tostada. Avena tostada and number three. And they're really, really cute little compact like this. And the color is right here. So. I thought this was really nice. The other one is a, a, like, I think it's lighter or darker than this one. I don't remember, but I saw a bunch of videos before I picked the colors I wanted to get. So let's go ahead and bronze up the face. Does it smell like anything? No, it doesn't. It has no smell. So just stuck my brush in here. Hopefully it's not that pigmented. So here we go. Oh, okay. That is pigmented. Oh my gosh, that's pigmented. Okay, so we're going to blend that out. That is pigmented. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to work with it. So, oh my goodness, this is pigmented to the max. I won't have to dip my brush in there for a while. So, bronze up the face. Okay, I need my brush. <gasps> Woo! I went too wild with that one. Okay, so I'm gonna work with this and. Hopefully we won't look like we have mud on our face. 
let's just go ahead and put some blush on. So I got two blushes. Uh, I did write them down on the list, so she got me both of them. Um, I got the colors in Coral number 20 and Terracotta number 7. So Coral number 20 and Terracotta in 7. So they look like this. Terracotta, Coral. I think I'm gonna go for... I think this is more like a fall tone color and this is more of a summer. We're still kind of in summer, so at the end of summer, I'm gonna go with coral. Just to use it for one last time before summer ends, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take my brush here, is this coral? Yes, okay. Coral, I learned my lesson with the bronzer, so I'm just gonna tap it a little bit in there and see how much product I get out of it and then we'll build it up. Okay, so. We got some color on there. We'll put on the highlight at the end so let's see what's kind of popping because they say this is the best thing and like if you're gonna get something from this brand you should get the, the highlight. So the highlight is called Illuminador number two. I think it's the only highlight they have in their brand range. So let's just get straight to the eyes. I actually got this one um, for the eyebrow color in here. Open sesame. Okay, so it has a little dome foot applicator in here. That just fell. Bye. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this for my eyebrows and for a little wash of color on my eyes. So I'm just gonna take an eyebrow brush. I didn't get any. I did get any of the brushes from the Bisu range. Um, maybe I'll get them next time I go. So this uh, quad is in the color. Is in tono 28. Tono 28. Um, tone um what is it called color 28 I was like don't know what does don't know mean color yeah color 28 and it just looks like this neutral colors I'm just gonna take um the light one and put that on my eyebrow building bad boy is in okay I see you eyeshadow I see you that is a really nice color so we're gonna use this right here the skin tone color and just put it all over my lid Pretty much like my color of skin tone, just a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Blending brush. Get some of this darker color. I mean, these eyeshadows are pretty dang nice. They blend seamlessly, like no effort whatsoever. I'm just like barely touching the brush on my eye and it's just blending like a dream. These are eyeshadows are pretty nice. I mean, for $29.90 pesos, not bad at all. Not put at all. My mom got me two liquid eyeliners because she's like, I know you like liquid, liquid, liquid eyeliner, so I got you two of them. Um, this is the, what is it called? Plumin, de, Plumin, Plumin Delineador Resistente a la Agua. So this is liquid eyeliner. It is waterproof. So she got me two, but one of them um, actually came, like arrived to me with like the top off of it so it kind of dried out but we'll work with it we'll keep it alive that this one was like a really high like quality eyeliner that people recommend so I was like I'm gonna get this I also got another one from another brand that's also like really really famous in Mexico it is Adara, Par Adara Paris long wear, la la, long wear gel eyeliner so I got both of these and this one my mom said this was the last one the gel eyeliner and I love the gel eyeliner to put on my waterline and it comes with a little brush so awesome so we're gonna put the liquid eyeliner on our eyes hopefully this is the one that's not dried out if not we'll try the other one right all right so let's see Oh my gosh, this is like, wow, it's like no effort whatsoever. I love it, I love it. Like the cap is really, okay, this is like really cheap packaging for me because like the cap can just fly off. You don't have no clicking, no nothing. All right, so here's the liquid eyeliner. I don't know. I think it would work pretty good. So this is what... It looks like Bisu. Let's just get straight to the mascara. I got two mascaras. I don't even know how my mom got this one. I guess the lady at the store recommended to her. Uh, but this one's like super, way more expensive than the Apple one. The Apple one um, was actually $19, 19 pesos. 19 pesos and this other one is 23 pesos. So I don't know the difference of these two mascaras. This one is from the brand Prosa Mascara. This is the Apple one. It's Super Lash. 
oh my gosh, it's like a super big wand. You see that? I love brush wands like this. Let's just see what it looks like on my lashes. Okay, so not clumpy at all, like at all. Hopefully I can apply another coat and it won't clump up. So we're gonna let this dry and do the rest of my makeup. So let's do it. All right. <laughs> let's just do the gel eyeliner. I'm gonna put some gel eyeliner on my bottom lash line. So we're gonna use the Adara Paris um, gel eyeliner in number one. Oh, it has a little plastic metallic seal on it. So that's always good. Okay, so, or does it smell it? It smells like nothing, so pretty good to me. So we're gonna use a little brush. Oh, it's so creamy. So creamy. So we're gonna put some on my like tight line. Now we're gonna go for the water line. It's gonna be hard. I don't know how to hold a freaking mirror and a brush at the same time and then you know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna work with this. Oh my god, that's super super pigmented. Okay, like the Concealer is kind of kicking up on the bottom of my lashes, like the bottom of my eye right here, kind of, kind of creating some wrinkles, and we're not having that. So, and I'm gonna use my brush and go in with my eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use the brown on here. I've been liking brown, mixing it with my gel eyeliner, and just smoking it out a bit. I don't know, I've been really into that look. So I'm gonna put some um, mascara. You know what, let me try the other mascara for my bottom lashes. Maybe it'll work with my bottom lashes. The brush to this one. Same brush. Okay. It has a small, faint scent. All right, do your thing, mascara. No clump. No clump. Let's get a little close up up here. Do you see a clump? My lashes, well, I don't have any fake lashes on right now. I don't think I'm, I'm going to wear anything. I'm going to show the true potential of this makeup. Um, raw. So, lashes with mascara. I'm liking it. I mean, I don't know about you. Okay, so I got the lip liner, uh, the Lineador de Labios from Bisou. Um, it's called Tinta Line in the color Natural. Uh, it's called number tono number five, color number five. It says waterproof, and this is like the like the one color everybody recommends you get, like natural, and it's it's so pretty. So let's just line our lips. I don't really use um, lip liner that much, so we're gonna see how this works out. Okay, this is super creamy, and I'm liking the color. It's like my my lips but just a little better. You know what I mean? All right, that was like super creamy and I'm liking the color just by itself. But I did get two colors. Well, actually I got a lipstick and two um, liquid lipsticks, I guess you would call it. I didn't know which one to pick, but my mom got me all three of them, so hey ho. So this is number, tono number 24, so color number 24. They don't have any names to go with it, so it says, just says Labial Humectante, so a moisturizing lipstick. And, okay, just looks like this. It's just a nudish color. Oh, and it has Bisou imprinted on it. Pretty. It's just a nude color, so I think I'm going to go for a more bold look. Since my eyes are so natural, so boring, we're going to go with, um... A liquid lipstick. Um, I have a purple and I have a like mauvey color. This one is from the brand Adara. We're gonna go with the brand Adara and this one actually from the Bisou brand is called, is number, it's called Intuition number 33. It's called Tinta Matte. So this is a matte liquid lipstick and this one from Adara is in the color, it's a liquid lipstick in the color number 22. I guess you can compare the prices to like NYX and ELF Kinda, kind of. Look at this, has a matte um, handle to it. Ooh, pretty. Don't foot applicator. Let's just apply it. Already in love. Love, love, love the color. I love the color. So easy to apply. 
it has a small it has a small fragrancy smell like kind of it's not fruity but it's something I've smelled before nothing bad but yeah is this a matte liquid lipstick I don't know but it kind of feels like it's turning matte this other liquid lipstick let me just swatch it so this one is the purple one it has a dome foot applicator oh my gosh that's gonna be perfect for the fall oh my god and it has a minty smell to it and this is the Adlara one I love it okay let's swatch the lipstick why am I holding the mirror <laughs> the lipstick okay not much of a payoff but very light so I would stick with the liquid lipsticks uh, but yeah I didn't try it on my lips it says it's um, moisturizing but I didn't try it on my lips but that's the swatches to those colors that I got I'll leave all the lists of everything I got down below and I also include the website just in case you want to go you want to order it on the website just in case okay so let's go for the highlight because they say this is like the best thing ever and if you're gonna get something get the highlight so it's gonna be under the bronceadores, uh, the bronceador uh, section of the website. Um, I tried looking and I was like, where is the highlight? And it's under the bronzers. So it's the same packaging as the bronzer. Um, it's just this white, creamy, kind of, it kind of, yeah, it's pretty much white. <laughs> the white highlight. So I'm gonna use um, a little brush like this. I'm gonna dip my brush in there. I'm gonna be bold. And I know these things are pigmented. I mean, I think they are pigmented because I haven't tried this one out. I'm gonna be bold. Let's go all in there. So let's see. Okay, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Well, let's just pack it on here. Pack it on the brush. Really get the highlight. Oh, you see that? I am glowing. It's like natural glow, like not too much, not too overpowering. Gives you like that natural glow. It might not be even, even transmitting through the camera, but hopefully it is. I am loving this. I'm probably like overdoing it, but can you really overdo it with highlighter? I mean, you can probably, but. I like it. I'm, I can't get over the lipstick and the eyeliner. I mean the whole makeup look. It looks like my everyday makeup. Well, it pretty much is, but with another brand. Like I feel like I'm cheating on my other cosmetics. But I like it. I like it. I like this brand. I think that's it. Yeah, I think this is pretty much my whole makeup look. Oh, I was gonna put on another layer of this mascara just to see if it's buildable. Let's do it. I feel bold. Let's see. Okay, it's not clumping up or anything. So it is buildable. I feel like I should, I should add more highlight, but we're gonna go with this look right now because, yeah. <laughs> All right, I have a mess here, but I also want to show you guys some other things my parents got me from Mexico. So this is the whole look using Bisu and Adara Cosmetic. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.